Hello and welcome to At Brookings, I'm Gigi Hinton. Our first item on the podcast today, education. President Obama says educating the nation's young people is a top priority for his administration. And U.S. Education Secretary Arne Duncan paid a visit to Brookings to explain the president's plan. Later, we'll hear from former President Bill Clinton on the importance of collaboration and cooperation between the government and private sector in addressing social problems. And finally, the man on the street. He'll weigh in today on health care reform. All that's next at Brookings. This is At Brookings, a review of news and events the week of May 11, 2009. President Obama has pledged to raise the quality of education in our nation's classrooms. Arne Duncan, Secretary of the U.S. Department of Education, and a panel of experts discussed this critical issue at a recent Brookings Forum. So we want to do everything we can to make sure that our students are safe. Obviously, to me, that's just like the, the foundation, the building block. If children are scared, they can't think about algebra, trig, and AP chemistry and going to college. It's impossible. You're just trying to survive. And so we have to all work together, whether it's their, their physical safety, whether it's their emotional well-being, their social well-being, make sure our children are fed, make sure they have eyeglasses to see the blackboard. You sort of, there's a series of things you have to do before you can really talk about academic rigor. No one would want to... Uh, argue that the climate of the school and the training and all of that matter. On the other hand, I just want to emphasize that all of the research shows that it is the individual teacher that explains most of the variation in how children do in school. It's going to be extraordinarily important as uh, states and localities are figuring out how to spend this money to have a sense of how uh, they and the nation will be held accountable for the expenditure. And I think it, it is possible to construct uh, metrics that are quite consistent with the Secretary and the President's goals that uh, are things worth measuring and that don't uh, undermine the achievement of, of long-term goals. I think it's really important that President Obama at least looks at health care reform. I think health care today is so expensive and it's really unattainable for a lot of Americans. I would hope that health care would be cheaper, um, easier to come by, more options, better access. I would like to see better health care reform or a higher quality as the president has been focusing on. It's a strain on both individuals and companies as it stands now. And I also think these 45 million who are uninsured need to have options. They have no options right now. And that's what I think. President Bill Clinton Founding chairman of the Clinton Global Initiative spoke at a Brookings Forum on the value of corporate philanthropy and social responsibility in these challenging economic times. Before the economic collapse occasioned by what happened at Lehman Brothers and the government's decision not to help them, before that, two-thirds of the American people were worse off in inflation-adjusted dollars than they were the day I left office. Their incomes were lower. And most of our economic growth in this decade had come from housing, finance, and consumer spending, which increasingly led to second mortgages on homes and maxed out credit cards. So you had real income and consumption capacity problems in America. When I started the Clinton Global Initiative, four years, we're about to have our fifth meeting, People said, well, you know, it, companies are making a lot of money and they ought to be a part of this now. But when times go down, all you'll have are the philanthropists, the foundations, and the NGOs. And I made the argument that the 21st century would be dominated by unusual public-private partnerships that involve government and business and the NGOs working together to deal with a lot of these challenges and that it made good business sense to do so. At Brookings is produced by the Brookings Institution. To learn more about the issues discussed on At Brookings, visit our website at brookings.edu.